Right, I'm going to be drawing an isometric drawing from this third angle orthographic projection. I know it's a third angle orthographic projection because of the projection symbol showing the left view on the left hand side of my front view. Therefore, I've got a front view, a top view, and a left view. Right, from this, I need to find the three major dimensions of this object. On my front view, I've got a length and I've got a height. On my left view, I've got a breadth and I've got a height. And on my top view, I've got a length and I've got a breadth. Right, we need to count how many blocks these are. So for the length, I'm going to count over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Seven blocks in length. For my height, I've got one, two, three, four, five blocks. And for my breadth, I've got one, two, three, four blocks. Right, knowing those dimensions, I can now draw my fish tank where I take seven blocks in length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. I take my height of five blocks. One, two, three, four, five blocks. And I take my breadth of one, two, three, four blocks. Once I've got that, I can now draw in construction lines going up, link them up. Note that that line and that line are parallel, and that line and that line are parallel. Draw lines going across over here. And link that up. Right, you can see the fish tank that I've drawn over here. I can now start cutting out the little bits and pieces from this thing. I can see that there is a line parallel to this base, one block up. So I can measure one block up and draw a line going across seven blocks. It says that I'm one block up and going across four blocks parallel to the breadth of it. Draw that in. Right. I know that I can see both of those, so I will actually draw that in dark straight away. Right. I should be drawing a line going back over here but I don't know how far back I need to go because there's stuff that's going to happen in the middle over here which is going to be blotting out some of that. I also know that I should have a line going back over here, but I'm not going to draw it in dark straight away because of the same reason. Right, I then see over here that there is a line starting at this point which is one block in from the front. So I count one block in. Let's call that point A. There it is, point A. Okay, where is point A on my left view? That point over there would be point A. Alright, so point A starts on this corner. Starts on this corner, but it is one block in. Right, so there's point A. I know that point A is linked up to a point at the top here, which I'm going to call point B. Right, how do I get that point B? I know that point B is also one block in, four blocks up, one, two, three, four. So that would be four blocks up, okay? But it is also one, two blocks back. So I come over here, one block across, one block across, four blocks up, one, two, three, four blocks up, and two blocks across, one, two blocks across, one, two blocks across. That point over there would be point B. I know that there is a line going between those two, so I can draw in my point A to point B. Right, let's see. C is one block across from B. There's C. C is one block across from B. I want you to see this idea. C and B that I'm seeing over here is a point view. In other words, B is the top of the pencil, 
and C is the point of the pencil. Does that make sense? All right? When you're looking at it, B was the top of the pencil, C was the point of the pencil. You can see B and C, B and C. Point view, front view. See it? Right, so I know that C is moving in that direction. So I can draw a line. How many blocks across? One block across. One block across, and I've found C. Let's put D in. D is also on this corner. So D is just behind A. D is just behind A. D would be this point over here. One block across from A. There's D. And I know that D and C are joined. So I can join in D and C. If I look at it, I can also work it out from here. From D to C is four blocks up. One, two, three, four blocks. One, two, three, four blocks. But it's two blocks across. One, two blocks across. One, two, three, four. One, two blocks across. Right, once I've got that, I can continue. I know that there's a line joining that point to that point, and it's one, two, three blocks across. One, two, three blocks across. That then comes down to a point over here, and it's in line with this, so I'm going to come one, two, three blocks across, make another point there, and join those two up. Right, it goes across one more block, goes across one more block, make a point there, goes across one more block there, one more block there. Join that up. And draw a line going across over here. Right. Then says that it goes back one block, goes back one block. Goes back one block over here. It goes back one block over there. Goes back one block over there. And I can join those two up. Right. It then goes 90 degrees down. There it is. We're at the back corner over here. There's that back corner. There's that back corner. And it goes 90 degrees down to the base. How many blocks down? One, two, three, four blocks down. One, two, three, four blocks down. I know that there is a line going across to, from that point to that point. So I can draw a line going in over here from that point to that point. Right. Once I've got that... It says that it comes down one block in hidden detail over here. So from C coming down, I can draw in hidden detail. Right? That then goes across. You can see going from here to there. Goes across one, two, three blocks. So a bit of hidden detail. One, one, two, three blocks across. And then it goes back up to the top over here. Right? Then it has a gap over here. You can see that there's a hole going through. A hole going through. So there's a gap over here of two blocks down to the next point. Goes down one, two blocks. That is the point that I'm looking for. And that goes down one block. You can see it going down one block. This then goes across three blocks. There it is. And three blocks at the bottom. One, two, three at the bottom. It goes back one block over here. Goes back one block. Goes across three blocks. I'm drawing in detail over there. Going up two blocks, one, two blocks. And I can draw in hidden detail over here as well. Right, once I've got that, um, 
Counting over here, one, two lines going into that corner, which means that I need a third line, which would be in, in detail. There are one, two lines going into that corner, which means that I need a line going across from there to there. Right, um, there would be hidden detail at the back. I'm not going to bother putting in that hidden detail. I need to complete this line over here. One, two lines going into that corner. And one, two lines going into that corner, which means that I need a third line over here. Right, that is the completed drawing.